Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Martin and today we're going to be taking a look at the developer preview of macOS 11 Big Sur. This is the first ever version of macOS 11 and it also means that 10.15 Catalina was the final version of macOS 10 after 19 years. So if we go into about this Mac, we can clearly see that it's version 11.0 beta and I'm running this on a 2019 MacBook Pro. So we can close that. Now let's look at some of the new features that Big Sur has. So over here, we have our dock. As you can see, the dock is now floating, very similar to the iPad Pro dock. And another thing you'll notice is that the icons, the shape of the icons are essentially the exact same as iOS. For example, the maps icon, photos, notes, they're almost completely identical. Although there's like some slight different effects on it, such as a bit more shadowing on the App Store and FaceTime and Messages is also has a bit of a shadow on it. But we also have our launch pad over here. So if we click that, we have all our applications, including our stocks, our voice memos, the ability to use Apple TV, Siri, Mission Control. If we click on Mission Control, we can Simply use it to switch to another desktop. We also have our feedback assistant, which is for developers. So the main purpose behind the feedback assistant is if you have any issues, like if there's un unstable features, crashing apps, etc., you could send that feedback to Apple and their developers will work on it for the next beta. And eventually when it reaches the final public build, it will be very stable. The macOS Finder has significantly changed in Big Sur with a new streamlined application design. For example, the sidebar on the left is now translucent and it also has updated icons such as our favorites in blue, such as AirDrop recent applications, desktop documents downloads. And we also have our regular options to list it as icons or as a detailed list, or for both. If we click on this icon on top of the taskbar, we will have our control center. And over here, we have the ability to turn on and off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or AirDrop. And you can easily turn on Do Not Disturb by one click. And you can also turn it off with one click. We also have our keyboard brightness, and that's for laptops mainly. We have our AirPlay display, which means if you want to connect it to an Apple TV, you can. And then we also have our controls for display brightness and sound. We also have a player here, so if Apple Music is playing in the background, then you can control it over here as well. And we have our battery percentage over here. With macOS Big Sur, we now have a new version of Apple Maps. For example, we can click over here and we can choose between having a default public transport or satellite version of the map. So right now we're in Sydney CBD and we can change the public transport option and we can see all our train lines such as the T1 and the T9 lines. Users will actually notice that the GUI is slightly different compared to macOS Catalina. For example, if we click on the taskbar over here, you'll notice that it's no longer sharp edged, but rather curved over here. And it also has a more clear translucent style. Safari was well updated for this version of Mac OS. So if we open it up, you'll find that we have a privacy report, a customizable star page, built-in translation, and improved extension supports. Some new features in this version of Safari also include the fact that it will let you know if it's identified any cookies. So if we click on Google and type in T2 chip, for example, then it will let you know that one cookie has been prevented. If we want to access our widgets, we can simply just click on the date and time over here and here we have some of our widgets, such as a calendar, a world clock, stocks, and the weather in Cupertino, California. 
So if we want to edit such widgets, we can just click over here and we have all these various options right here. So let's say we don't want this the world clock. We just press the minus and it's gone. And if we want to drag a regular clock in, then so be it. So just like that, we have our regular clock and we can also drag in a reminder list on the bottom. And we could also move it around. So say if we want to move the weather over, over here in the middle, like over here, then we can. So I think widgets such as watching the stock prices would be very useful for some people. And of course the weather and the time. We also have other programs such as stocks. Now, if we open that up, we can see all of our regular indices such as the AXX200, the NASDAQ Composite, Commonwealth Bank, Telstra, and of course, Apple. Now, just like previous versions of macOS, we have the ability to switch between light and dark mode. So over here, we can change it from auto to dark. So this is how dark mode looks and it also changes the background as well. We can also change the accent color, which just mainly changes like the color of the buttons over here. So if we change it to like green, this is how it looks. And we can also change it to gray, which seems like it affects the entire window as well. Last but not least, we have our various desktop wallpapers. So we can easily, if we wanted to, switch to the Mojave or Catalina ones, such as over here, Mojave, Catalina, and Big Sur. So over here we have the bright version of Big Sur, and then we also have the dark version. So I believe for the final build it would be either this or similar to iOS like this. So that was a demo of Mac OS 11 Big Sur. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.